All right, let's try some regression. Robert, please try to remember. I'm sorry, Agent. I just... Okay, let's see what I can make of this. Okay, memory two, memory one. Sarah was a very beautiful woman. So sad. Okay, let's see. I need to gather more info. My visions are too confused. I can't figure out what color dress she was wearing. Right, so do I have to set it? Or... He took a picture of her. Maybe this could help trigger more memories. Okay, so I don't know the color of her dress, and I don't know what time it was when he took the picture. They made a nice couple. What station were they at? Is this a note? Maybe I can make him remember it. I'm not exactly sure how this works. How can I find the time? It's a good question. How can I? Okay, so I need to... Oh, I see. It sets this color of her dress in all future photos, right? Okay, yes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm like building up the memories, I guess. Okay, well, what... Uh, what color was her dress? Do you remember what color dress she was wearing that day? Why are you asking me these questions? It could help you remember details. I can't remember. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously he doesn't remember the color of her dress. Otherwise, I wouldn't have to set it for him. Your wife was beautiful. Yes, she always will be. Um... Well, I mean, I have that photo of her, but I don't know if that was taken on the same time, was it? Can I even look at that picture here? What am I doing? That's not what I'm looking for. No, I don't think I can. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to find these things. Rearrange every possible changeable memory to match what really happened. Once all memories are matched, press the cognition sphere. If the selection is incorrect, the screen will flash red. Do I really just have to literally do trial and error? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Can you remember the time when you last met your wife? No. I can't. Mm, what about your cell phone, actually? Because that would tell me her dress color. What were you doing before you left? Did you have your cell phone with you? Did you receive any calls? I... Yes, I did. And I took a picture of Sarah. What did you do after? I sent it to my sister. I don't know how this is of any help. Trust me, it is. Sent it to your sister? Okay, looks like that's opened up a new memory. There's a text message from Karina. Hmm. My favorite color. Okay, so what is Karina's favorite color? What's your sister's name? Karina. I haven't seen her since... well... Did she reply to that picture you sent her? Yes. She... She commented on... She said she loved the color of the dress because it was her favorite color. What is that? Blue. Karina's favorite color is blue. It was our mother's favorite color as well. Okay. There we go. 
Blue. Alright, now the time. Does this have a time on it? No. Can you remember the time when you last met your wife? No, I can't. What was your wife's dress color again? No, oh, no. Robert, you mentioned the last time you saw your wife was at a train station. Can you remember what station it was? Oh, gosh. I don't remember what station it was, but I do remember I took her to a Thai restaurant on Boylston Street. Her favorite place. They have the best chicken curry in town. We went to the closest station on our way back. Do you remember the name of the restaurant? Uh, no. I'm sure I could remember if I hear the name. This should help. Hmm. Uh, could I do a search with my cell phone to try to find restaurants near Boylston? Did you give her something that day? Anything? Yes, in fact I did. A note. What did the note say? I... I don't remember. It was... I saw her opening the note as the tea pulled away. Alright, what do we have here? What did the note say? I need to gather more info. My visions are too confused. Yeah, it's just all blurred. I'm thinking it's Boylston. Let me see if I can do a search. What am I doing? That's not what I'm looking for. Maybe not? I mean, he said the restaurant was around Boylston, right? Or on Boylston or something like that? Wouldn't the natural be, uh, wouldn't the natural thing to do be to search for restaurants around that area and tell them the names because he said he would recognize the name? Hmm. Is there anything else I can do with my cell phone? Uh, calendar? October no. 2008. This should help me figure out what I need. Wait, what? What is this for? Huh. I don't know what that's for. What about the note? What did the note say? I'm sorry, Agent. I just... I don't remember. Find the date. I have no idea. This is not something you want to brute force. Because <laughs> there's probably about a million combinations. Okay, so so far, I know that she was in a blue dress. That's a start. Robert, you mentioned the last time you... Oh, gosh. I don't remember what station it was, but I do remember I took her to a Thai restaurant on Boylston Street. Her favorite place. They have the best chicken curry in town. We went to the closest station on our way back. Do you remember the name of the restaurant? Uh, no. This should uh help. All right, well, it was on Boylston Street, and they went to the closest station, so it'd have to be Boylston. So, that's correct. Hmm. But now what? How do I get the time, and how do I get the note? I could talk to... What's her name? Karina? The sister? Karina? I mean... She would probably remember that. You know, the last, the last text from her? Um, but how'd I do that? Go to my office? Can I just... No, I don't even know her number. Alright, yeah, hold on. Robert, please stay here. Don't take long. It's 
too far away. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's too far away. <laughs> Go out the door first then, jeez. <laughs> God, she sounds so frustrated about it. Just wanted to talk to John to see if he has any thoughts. He hasn't said a single thing during the entire interrogation. McCoy? Red? How am I supposed to find a Thai restaurant just like that? You could search it. Or I could tell you that you're looking for a place called Curry Palace. They get the best curry in town. It's common knowledge. <laughs> John, you are a genius. I like food. Man, I really could go for some pad thai right about now. Okay, maybe I don't even need to even contact Karina. I need to know what that damn note says. Wouldn't your power help you? No, it doesn't. Unless... Unless I reenacted whatever happened back then. What do you mean? Go ahead, Red. Does she mean use the other power? I can't remember what it's called, but the one that like summons a spectral version of whatever happened? Last I checked though, there was only one thing to click on and I need at least three. Yeah, the projection, there's only one. Huh. Okay, Robert, tell me if any of these ring a bell. Curry Palace. Yes, the Curry Palace, that's the one. Okay, we're making progress. Uh, are we? Does that actually help? What about the note? I'm sorry, Agent. I Okay, reenact what happened. What? Can I search for Curry Palace? Would that even help me? What am I doing? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm looking for. Music? I don't have time for music right now. I normally listen to it when I'm going to bed. Wait, I can actually contact people let me try this um see if I can get a hold of Davies <laughs> the boss I don't need to call her right now hmm let's see if I can call anyone no thank you I don't have anything to tell him right now I don't need to call there right now I don't have anything to tell him right now I don't have anything to tell him right now I don't need to call there right now not right now Later. Okay, I guess not. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do there. So I don't think the name of the restaurant even helps. What does that get me? I know she had a blue dress. It must have been Boylston. Because that's where the restaurant was located. So that must have been the train station they were in. Okay, I need to reenact. Reenact? How, how do I reenact? No, that's not right. Yep, yep, I know. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Your wife was beautiful. I think I've already done all these dialogue options. Can you remember the time? No. Alright, let's go back to trying to contact Karina. Robert. Yeah, I think that's my best bet. Hopefully she remembers when that was sent, or maybe she still has it on her phone.
I wonder, when am I ever gonna need to go to financing? Alright, so let's search for Karina. Get her information. See if I can call her. Okay. I guess I can't. Hmm. Let's get a hint, shall we? What? I can't get Davies into the interrogation room, but I still need her there in spirit? What? I don't understand. What the hell is this? What? Why would I need Davies there? Alright, Robert can't remember time. Maybe jog his memory with some old evidence? Like what? Need to know date. Oh, so I might get the time, but not the date? But wait, didn't it not have a date for when she died? I thought it didn't. Alright, let's check the database. Yeah, date of incident field empty. What the hell? One evidence form, coming up. I already have what I need. Okay, apparently I just... printed an evidence form? I don't even know why. Why did I just print an evidence form? I don't know, let's go pick it up. Let's see what this gets me. They won't let us get our hands on evidence without these. Okay, what evidence am I getting and who do I give it to? I guess Gwen? I have a request for you. Yeah? I'm looking for some evidence on a case from a couple of years back. Well, aren't you in luck? We just moved archives from the past three years back here. Anything further back, uh, it'll be a nightmare. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be around. Do you have your evidence form? Here you go. All right, just one minute. There are more tapes, but this was all I could find. Okay, thank you. Microcassette. And what the hell am I gonna play that in? But I need something to play this tape. Oops. Sounds like they accidentally clipped the audio before it was supposed to finish. But I need something to play this tape. Report bug! I'm sending an email to the company. Need to patch this out immediately. Alright, well, I think, um... Shit, what's her name? The woman at the morgue? She had a tape recorder? So, let's go there. What the hell is her name? Uh, oh, Dr. Gallagher. She's old school. 
She rejects the modern time-saving and money-saving devices that are far superior in every single way. Because she's cool like that. No, I'll leave those to Gallagher. Excuse me, I just came back to use your tape recorder. Agent Reed, what are you doing? Stop messing with my equipment. I was wondering if I could borrow your tape recorder. No, you can't. It'll only be a minute. I said no. Okay, just, uh, Erica, just pick up this scalpel and stab her in the face. Tools of the coroner's trade. So, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Can I thread her with my gun? Nope. Hello, Dr. Gallagher. Agent Reed. <laughs> I, did, I just had a thought. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I just had a thought. And while having that thought, apparently I choked on air. <coughs> Jeez. What if... What if I went back to Davy's office and sent an email saying, I heard you aren't allowing Erica Reed to borrow your tape recorder. Please give it to her. Signed, Davies. Do you think she might be a little bit suspicious if I did that? <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of to do. Well, you know what? Maybe Terrence... Maybe Terrence has some sort of a gadget to play it with. I'll be seeing you, Dr. Gallagher. Good luck, Agent Reed. Can I really not use it? Can I, like, distract her somehow? Is there anything I can interact with here? Desk, gurney, gurney, gurney. That's where the Gallagher magic happens, if you can call it that. The direct number for her office down here. I guess I better keep that in my cell phone now that Susie's gone. Oh. 9154. Am I seriously going to distract her with the phone? And then st steal her tape recorder? Can I do that? I'd rather try something easier. Maybe I should talk to Terrence. That's just what I was thinking. Good idea. Buddy? Yo! Sup, T Dog? What does the gadget do again? Oh, no, 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 no. Not that one. I could use your help with Gallagher. What do you want me to do? You said your new hobby is to get on Gallagher's nerves. Can I see you in action? That would make my day. Wait two minutes and then meet me at the morgue. We are professionals through and through. I can't save it yet. Very Very uh, I guess I'll just take it right now then. Yoink. I'm sure I can 
even things up around here. I'm past counting to ten. That's awesome. It would be awesome if okay, I see ya. back to my work. All right, all right, Gally. I'll get out of your here. Thank you. Question is, though, how do I get it back to her? I mean, presumably it has a tape in there that she recorded while she was doing the autopsy. You know, official evidence that she needs back. Whatever, don't think about it. All right, plugged in. October 12th, 2008, recordings of case 342980, Sarah Goodman's death. Mr. Goodman, can you recall the events of the last time you saw your wife? It was last Wednesday. I had to leave again for a business trip. What do you do, Mr. Goodman? I'm the vice president of a goods export company. My job involves a lot of travel. Did your wife approve of your lifestyle? No, Sarah was never happy about it, especially after we moved to Boston. We lived in a small town in California, but with the promotion, I had to move to the headquarters. Did your wife have any friends or acquaintances? No. Sarah was very lonely. Was she depressed? Where are you going with this? Please answer the question. Yes. Sarah was on antidepressants, but she would have never done this to herself. Mr. Goodman, let's go back to that last meeting with her. Was your wife upset that night? Our anniversary was last Wednesday. She was sad I was going to spend another one away, so we had dinner at our favorite restaurant. But I had to leave from there, so we walked to the closest train station. I looked at my cell phone when I was leaving, and I told her it was our time. <laughs> Inside joke. I handed her a note. Well, the note, sir. Damn. Damn it. What would I need to reenact that time? Good question. I have no idea. Alright, hold on. Let me listen to that beginning again. October 12th, 2008. Recordings of case 342980. Sarah Goodman's death. Mr. Goodman, can you recall the events of the last time you saw your wife? It was last Wednesday. I had to leave again okay. for a business trip. Wait, can I not skip it? What do you it? do, Mr. Goodman? I'm the no. vice president of a goods I can't skip it. Company. My job involves a lot of travel. Damn it. Did your wife approve of your lifestyle? No, Sarah was never happy about it. Okay, Especially well actually I will be right back and cut this out. We lived in a... Okay, I'm back. Let's go back to the station. And once again have a chat with Robert. I get that hint. Okay, so this hint. What that? Why did that just disappear? What am I doing? Whoops. That's not what I'm looking for. Wait a minute. I can do searches? I just needed to press the back button. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay. So my idea of searching for restaurants was actually in there. Okay, let me look for that restaurant's name to help Robert. Well, I already have that, but I just want to go through this just to get a feel for it. There we go. This should help Robert. And there's the Curry Palace. Wait. Didn't he say it was on Boylston Street? But he said he, they went to the station that was the closest. And it didn't look like Boylston was actually all that close. Eh, whatever. If it's an issue, I'm sure I'll find it. Okay. Let's see. Wait a minute. 
Wait, all of that was on... All of that was on Boylston's... I'm confused. Whatever. I, I don't need this. Anyway, like I was saying, the hint. Here... Okay, I can't get Davies into the interrogation room, but I still need her there in spirit. They gave me this hint before I even knew what to do with it, but now I get it. Davies was interrogating Robert. And during the interrogation, he was saying what was on the note. But the end of the tape is messed up, so that's why I need to get Davies' spirit or whatever into the room. Because I need to recreate the interrogation so I can figure out what's on that note. So... I think I need to go to Davy's office to get some of her personal artifacts. Okay, so she mentioned that she brings her mug on all of her interrogation on all of her interrogations, so she would definitely have had that. So let's grab that. This is a crazy idea, but let's see if it works. Mm, can I take her plant? <laughs> nope. Now, uh, what else is in here? Painting, pepper shre shredder. Well, damn it, I need something else. What the hell would she have had with her? No, there's no point in that. Uh, no, that's it. Um. What about Sully? Was he... Was Sully in the interrogation room? Maybe I need to get him in there? Hey, Sully. Hi, Erica. Or not. See you later, Sully. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think that's gonna be enough, but let's give it a shot. Man, with all of this running around that I've been doing, I bet Robert's been here for like four hours at this point. Wait a minute, can I put this down? No? Hmm. Let me sit down first. <clears throat> Okay, how about now? There we I go. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'll give it a try. Okay, I think that gives me two out of three. Yeah, I need a third one. What's the third one? No, that's not right. All right, just like... Ro May actually Robert, wait a minute. Please stay. Doesn't it have to be from the time that it happened? Or can it just be any personal artifact at all? Cause she does have that drawing in her drawer. But it's a recent drawing, so I'm not sure what good that's going to do. McCoy? Red? 
I need to know what that damn note says. Wouldn't your power help you? No, it doesn't. I can't skip it. Unless... Unless I reenacted whatever happened back then. Go ahead, Red. Well, let me see if I can take the note. What about financing? Can I go up there yet? Accountant is up there. No, thank you. Nope. Damn it. Fuck. Let's look at that hint again. Nah, it's gone. Can you re reconstruct the scene? Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. What else can I take from here? I, I can't take her plant. Can't take her certificate. Not her whiteboard. Not her. Uh. I, what the hell could I do on her computer? No new emails. Yeah, there's something I can do here. What is the third thing that I need? What the hell is the third thing that I need? Wait a minute, would it be the tape player itself? I mean, technically, the tape player wasn't there, but the cassette was. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. I'm betting that's it, yeah. That totally makes sense. Well, it partially makes sense. Because, again, the tape recorder itself was not actually there, it was the cassette, but whatever. Splitting hairs. Man, it really does take a long time to get anywhere in this game. There's so many menus, and the loading screens are so long. Even though there's really not that much to load, it's very strange. I mean, the entire game is like a gig. Please, please work. Those two don't work together. God damn it. This is not going to work with this. Uh, unless I can take the cassette out? No, 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 that's gonna play it. Those two don't work together. Ready to go. Hmm? Ready... what? Like, on him? Robert, I want you to listen to this oh. and tell me if it brings back any memories. Mr. Goodman, let's go back to that last meeting with her. But was your wife upset that night? Our anniversary was last Wednesday. She was sad I was going to spend another one away. So we had dinner at our favorite restaurant. But I had to leave from there, so we walked to the closest train station. 
I looked at my cell phone when I was leaving, and I told her it was our time. <laughs> Inside joke. I handed her a note. But the note, sir. Any information you can give me from here? The time. 9.30 p.m. It was something that Sarah and I always remembered from some date we had when we started going out. That was the time that night. Yes. What about the note? What did the note say? I don't remember. Don't you wish sometimes we could go back in time? I would have never left her that night. What would I need to reenact that time? Oh, well, what we would need, you just put down, I think. Please? Please? Ah, oh, yes. Bingo! Yes, picture this is in the obviously pad. a suicide. At least it passes one. We don't have time to deal with this. Don't you want to investigate further? When you've been on the force as long as I have, you'll learn to pick the big cases from the ones that'll only suck up your resources and not go anywhere. We'll talk more outside. Wow. And she further cements her reputation, at least in my eyes, as a complete fucking asshole. Okay. There's <laughs> a little bit of a grocery list going on there. Don't forget to pick up milk, peanut butter, and bread. If not a suicide, Robert is prime suspect. Case number, Sarah Goodman's death, okay. Married no children. Recently moved to Boston, yep. The wife was unhappy with the move. He travels a lot, wife was home alone. Oh, it's a note with lyrics from The Taking by the, Scar the Scarlet Furies. Do you remember any other details? Oh, Sarah was romantic. She liked nice dinners with candles and having a song that was just for us. That night I handed her a note. The note said, uh, well, it was something from a song called The Taking from the Scarlet Furies. She told me several times that it was our song. So I wrote her something from those lyrics. I wish I had paid attention to that stuff when it mattered. Excellent. I think I have everything I need. Yeah, I think I do. Alright, let's give this a shot. So, blue dress. It was, um, 9.30 p.m. And the date was... Well, at least the date recorded on the thing is... Um, on the interrogation tape is October 12th. He said that it was last Wednesday, so it might be a couple days before that, I'm not sure. I could always just try the previous days from October. Shouldn't be a big deal. Um, that's October 12th, 2008. There we go. I okay, believe the train station is set correctly, isn't it? Let me just do that again, actually. Let me check. Uh, Ty, Boylston Street. Oh, what? So that was the place. I don't, I don't understand how to read this map. This doesn't make any sense to me. If this is Boylston Street, and he said Curry Palace is on Boylston Street, then... What the fuck? I, or are those not streets? What are those? I don't know. Whatever. We'll see if this works. What did the note say? I need to gather more info. My visions are too confused. Well... Wait, shouldn't I know what it says? I mean... I know what the note was about, I don't know the exact words. Okay. 
No, I already have this. Damn it. Ah, now I'm stuck in this dialogue. Ginger and Bay. Oh, that doesn't sound. Uh oh. Wait a minute. I didn't break the game, did I? Because the right option is not in here anymore, and there's no exit. Oh god. Pad Thai. Oh god. Fusion noodles. No. What's gonna happen? Please tell me it'll exit the dialogue. Basil leaf. Oh, that doesn't sound. What did the notes? I need to gather. I think I'm okay. Whew. I think I'm okay. I can't just tell it to him. He'd freak out. I have to find a more creative way of doing this. Ooh, I can probably play it from uh, my phone, right? There it is. This is it. This is the song. The Taking by the Scarlet Furies. Okay, so can I play it to him? I can't just tell it. Um, how do I do this? Do I have to exit? And do this? Sorry, I thought I had set this to vibrate. That... What about it? That song. That's our song. Oh, the note I wrote her had a phrase from that song. And though the rest I'm bound to lose, the one thing I'll take with me is you. This is... strange. It's a great song. And maybe it's a sign. I really do think I can help you, Robert. All right, that should do it. There we go. Okay, so do I have everything? I think I do. Yeah, let's give it a shot. No, that's not right. Okay, so I think there's only two things that could be wrong. It's either the date, the time's right, the year's right. So it's either the date or the station. Um, I think it's probably the date, so let me just... Let me just start with... Whoops. Just work our way up. Whoops. Damn it. No, that's not right. No. Th no, that... No. Come on, I know it's here. No, that... No, that... No. 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 I'm starting to lose hope. No, that's... No, that's... Okay, I think I have something else wrong. No. Actually, scratch that. I definitely have something else wrong. Alright, it was 9.30pm. Yes, 2008. Yes. Okay, so do I have the station wrong then? I think I might have the station wrong. Robert, you mentioned the. Oh gosh, I don't remember what station it was, but I do remember I took her to a Thai restaurant. On... All right, let me go back to that search. Do you remember the name? Yes, the Curry Palace. That's the one. All right, there's the Curry Palace, and the closest is. Copley, or Copley, however you pronounce that. It's a little bit closer than Prudential, I think. Yeah, let's go with Copley. No, that's not right. And back to the day thing. No. Trial and error is still no. fun. No. 
No. God, I hope I got the station right. No. I haven't messed something else up, have I? No. No. There we go. Yes! I remember now. Uh, I remember clearly. I took a picture of Sarah before we walked down to Copley Station. Sarah had that look on her face. I knew exactly what it was. God, this station is dirty. They need the janitor from our station. What's his name again? Mr. Longmore. Anthony. Anthony, yes. He's a nice man. Yeah, he's one of the only friends I have. You have to make an effort to like this city. It feels like our life is a long string of goodbyes. And hellos. Sarah, you know this is what I do for a living. Here, I wrote this for you. I could only find a napkin. I love you, Sarah. Your train is here. I'll be back before you know it. That was the last time I ever saw her alive. After I found her hanging in our apartment, my job, none of it made sense anymore. You have your name now. Am I free to go, Agent Reed? You must stay, you are a suspect? No, no he's not. You can go. Robert, I'm going to do my best to get to the bottom of this. Oh, thank you, for Sarah's sake. You're a kind woman. I know it's none of my business, but you mentioned a brother who'd been murdered. Whatever happened to him, let it go. Don't end up where I did. Oh, no, I didn't want to play that. Oh, God. Of case three, no. Four, two, nine, eight, zero, I just stopped. Death. That Mr. was a mistake. Bennett, can you recall the events of the last time you saw your wife? <sighs> it was last Wednesday. I had to leave again for a business trip. What do you do, Mr. Goodman? I'm the vice president of a goods export company. My job involves a lot of travel. Did your wife approve of your lifestyle? No, Sarah was never happy about it. Especially <sighs> after we moved to Boston. We lived in a small town in California, but with the promotion, I had to move to the headquarters. Did your wife have any friends or acquaintances? No. Sarah was very lonely. Was she depressed? Where are you going with this? What the Please fuck did I just do? Question. What is that? I just pressed yes, random keys on the keyboard Sarah and that popped up. What? But she would have never done this to herself. Mr. Goodman, let's go back to that last meeting with her. Was your wife upset that night? Our anniversary was last Wednesday. She was sad I was going to spend another one away, so we had dinner at our favorite restaurant. But I had to leave from there, so we walked to the closest train station. I looked at my cell phone when I was leaving, and I told her it was our time. <laughs> Inside joke. I handed her a note. The note Damn. Click. Okay, what so what I need to read. Oh, now I can skip the dialogue, huh? Okay. Please get me the hell out of here. Whew. That tape recorder is my bane. Okay, so yeah, whilst mashing random keys in frustration and not being able to skip the tape recorder's audio, I just stumbled upon... a little, I guess, developer thing? Um, if you press the F key, it shows you your frame rate. Yeah. I don't think the controls are listed in the menu. Actually, I should save. There we go. Yeah, let me check. I don't think it says the controls. No. Yeah, the controls are set when you first start up the game in a little pre-launcher thing. And I don't think it mentioned anything about that key. So I wonder if there's any other secret keys that do secret things. Hmm. It's weird. Okay, um, what do I need to do now? Uh, oh yeah, search for that person's name. Duh. 
which I just so happened already forgot. Way to go, kiddo. Go search that name. I'll give the man a ride. Thanks. Yeah, give him a ride back to his favorite alley. New message. Have you seen any good memories lately? I have one for you. Search for Amy Lewis. I'm sure it'll ring a bell or two. Oh. Who the hell is sending me these? Great. Sounds like the serial killer has my phone number. I think this is a tip for another case to solve. Yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be just like this one, where it looks like it was a hanging, and they deemed it a suicide, but it actually wasn't. People search. Uh, Anthony Longmore, that was his name. Anthony Longmore worked for the T. This is our guy. All right, Anthony Traven Longmore, born in '67, born in Nashville, Tennessee. There's his address, good to know. Pretty average ish height. Okay, okay, no identifying marks. Finished high school, did not finish university. The bus driver for a while. Drove a subway? A uh, car for a while? Subway train? Yep. Yeah, subway train operator. Okay. Hold on. Transfer to... Wait, wouldn't it be my phone? Isn't the right one? Wait, what are you supposed to transfer to? I don't even know what I'm transferring. Oh, is this to transfer fingerprints? Yeah, I think that's to transfer fingerprints. I guess I don't have anything for that yet. Uh, I guess I should go talk to either Terrence or Gallagher. Yeah, and then use that to confirm his identity. Okay. Now, what was that other name? Amy Lewis. Hmm. Born in 70, uh, 73. The average height. High school, college, nursing. I don't need to request any evidence right now. Okay, she died in 05. Uh, this doesn't tell me anything about the case, though. There's the file ID. Um, how do I get that? Uh, cases? Yeah, here we go. Hmm, another hanging. Yep. Ruled as a suicide, but I have a feeling it's another murder. I'll have to check on this case later. For now, I'll focus on the Goodman case. Who's sending me these messages? Yeah, someone knows what happened. Which means either they, probably they either have psychic powers like me, or they are the ones that murdered them. Alright, so investigating officer was Corey Scozari. Officer's report. Victim was found in her home, hung by the neck. Victim was discovered in the living room of her apartment. A nearby ottoman was used as a perch point. Striations and lividity appear somewhat inconsistent with rope placement. 
but this inconsistency is within acceptable limits. Neither family nor relatives of the victim could be located for questioning, nor could any appropriate parties be located and properly informed of her passing. Occupants of surrounding apartments were questioned, but knew little to nothing of Amy Lewis. No suicide note recovered. Okay, so it sounds like she had no family, basically, and no one even knew her. So she's just like a total outcast, a total loner. Um, she said I'm not supposed to focus on this yet, but let me see if I can print a request form. I don't need to request any... I don't need to re... Nope. Okay, Goodman case. So, yeah, let's go confirm the identity. I guess I need some sort of a thumbprint thing. Which I should be able to get at the morgue. I think what I'm going to do is probably just take his... Get his thumbprints from Gallagher and then probably compare them against what's on file in the computer. I'm guessing that's how it's going to work. I need to check with John about this message I got on my... Good point. John! A serial killer is trying to... Contact me again. Could you do something about it, please? This happens every month. I'm sick of it. McCoy? Red? Do you have an address? Yeah, heading there now. Coming? Ah, <laughs> no. Too many donuts. You take Sully with you. <laughs> Great. What? He worked on the case. Did he put you up to this? A Cupid a fat ass too? What? <laughs> How's the case going? It's going. Oh, no, no, not this one again. I found something really interesting. Yeah? Whoever did this left clues behind that are pointing to another old case. Go on. What? Well, here's the thing. This other case? It was a hanging too. But it was closed as a suicide. Apparently the husband insisted it was a murder. What do you think? I need to gather more info. Keep me posted. I just got a message in my phone pointing me to another victim. Another girl found hanged in her house two years ago. So what's on your mind? Hmm. I think we're looking at, at a serial killer. I think we're looking at a serial killer. The real question is why would the killer change his patterns all of a sudden? What do you mean? Hmm, his previous victims passed as suicides, but this was an obvious murder. His previous victims passed as suicides. This was an obvious murder. Guy got tired of dancing and wants to get caught? I don't know. This seems too complicated in a way. It seems almost like a game. It's not common, but killers do change M.O. from time to time. Maybe. Yeah, I get the feeling though that I'm not being sent messages by the killer, but by someone who wants the killer to be found. But who could that be, and why would they not just come forwards? How's the case going? Oh, no, 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 not this again. Go get him. Oh, uh, take Sully with me. Hey, Sully. Hi, Erica. I need you to come with me. Lunch? Would you drop it with that damn lunch? We got work to do. I thought you didn't want me to come with you. Well, yeah, I do now. Hurry up before I change my mind. Oh, he's getting shut down so hard, I feel bad for him. He was so hopeful. He's like, lunch? Yay! Oh. 